All right, let's go out to Detroit and talk to B. What is up, B? Hi, John. How's it going? <laughs> Dude, incredible. How are you? Oh, good. Just wonderful. <laughs> Just <laughs> wonderful. Good, great, grand. Just wonderful. Good. I'm glad you're doing wonderful. What's up? How can I help? Um, okay, so I just started dating this awesome guy. Um, we've almost been dating for like five months. Um, he's super into his career and getting it going. He's 28. Um, and recently he was away on a business trip for about two weeks. And he told me that he might, um, in the future, on the future business trip, have to take girls out to dinner um, to secure business deals. And I was like, I don't like that. So, so I guess my question is, is it, is it normal for this kind of thing to happen in the business world? If you're in sales to like take, I mean, I, I, might, I know men like take other men out to dinner to like secure sales and stuff and like buy them dinner. But I didn't know that like guys took girls out too. So. Yeah, it's, it's. There's a whole host of things here. I, I'm interested. What was his response when you said, hey, that makes me uncomfortable? Um, okay. I have my email pulled up because, okay. So I, he said it was strictly about business um, and he didn't understand that I was upset. Um, he said that he felt like it was a trust thing and I needed to trust him. Um, and he said he thought that I was being overly dramatic and like bringing in security baggage into our relationship. Um, so yeah. Whew. All right. Lots of things here. Give me one or two direct questions. Cause there's a lot going on here. Um, well, what we're trying to figure out is he, he doesn't understand why I'm upset for him taking like a girl from his like, um, customer, like one of the places he's at one of the customers that's a girl taking her out like a, she's a client to dinner and like buying her dinner and that she's them to one-on-one -on -one. yeah so um to answer your question yes it is common happens all the time mm -hmm. colleagues go out and you're not crazy not even a tiny little bit okay so i did um I did, I did this all the time in my former life when I was in academics, but it was with um, academic colleagues. And 100% of the time, I texted my wife and let her know, and I texted my wife when it was over. Mm -hmm. I'm not ever going to cheat on my wife. But, man, it was important for, I didn't want, ever want someone to come up to her and be like, hey, I saw John with so-and-so. I saw him with this woman at lunch today. Yes, so that's what I'm worried about. Well, hold on. So number one, there was always that level of communication. There was never any, any, and that was me trying to honor my wife, okay? Mm -hmm. And there's just, a, there was a reality to the business I was in. And yeah. it made for problems. Uh-huh. I ended up really, really liking spending time with people. That were not my mm -hmm. wife. I craved their laughing at my jokes. I craved them wanting to hang out, right? So it was yeah. not smart on my part. And so I think it's wise. Uh, and also, let me just say this. We live in a world, unfortunately, where there's, um, there's been a shift in guilty until proven innocent. Mm -hmm. So if somebody walks away from some of these exchanges and just says, hey, this person offered me this, said this, it can create some mess. And so yeah. I, 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 now I just, I just always have somebody with me. And that's just, that's mm -hmm. just a personal thing on my end. And I know I can get grief like that I'm not being equitable and that I'm treating people differently. I'm trying to be wise for me, for my wife, for my family, for my business, wisdom globally. And mm. I've never, ever had a, what I would call a sales experience or a client interaction that wasn't bolstered by having somebody else in the room. I, yeah. I, I've just never had that. So that's number one. Okay. Uh, and, and number two, it does cause problems. Here's the bigger issue for me. I know, I have friends of mine, dear friends, close, great friends that are women mm -hmm. that wouldn't care one, like, Two days from Sunday, 
if their husband was out doing sales calls with women. Wouldn't even, th- wouldn't even think about it. Yeah. Wouldn't even enter their mind. And I've got friends who are like you. Makes them very uncomfortable that my husband's gone for two weeks or my boyfriend's gone for two weeks in four states over. And every night uh-huh. of the week, he's with the same or one or two women. For, like, that, they, they feel uncomfortable by that. Here's my mm-hmm. concern for your relationship right now. That at the after receiving how you feel about something, the guy that you started this call by saying he's an awesome guy, he's so great and so wonderful, <laughs> immediately made you stupid for having a feeling. And I don't like that at all. Mm-hmm. You're allowed to have your feelings. And if it makes you uncomfortable, then as somebody who honors you and wants to be with you for a long time and treats you with dignity and respect, he is going to look at his environment and see if there are ways that he can honor the person he's saying he loves. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. And so I don't, like, whether it's right or wrong, I I have the way I choose to do it now. That's just me. I also um, am not going to beat anybody else up. You're going to make your own decisions. I think I've put myself in situations that weren't wise, and it's just, I, I, I have some pretty clear boundaries now. So be it. Yeah. What I'm more concerned with your relationship is you said, hey, I'm uncomfortable with this. Hey, I don't like this. And he said, you're stupid. And Mm -hmm. B, you're not. Yeah. Can I ask you a harder question? Okay. You have other trust issues in this relationship, no? Um, yeah, Yeah. I guess. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. What are they? Where does it, where does it come from? Um, I don't think I have to be worried about it, but it just makes me feel uncomfy. But his, one of his good friends, um, they were friends with benefits like a couple months before we started dating. And she keeps asking him to hang out and she asked him to like move in for the week in July. And he didn't like immediately say no to her. He was in the, I didn't know if he was like going to really tell me about it. I just kind of saw the text come up on his iPad while we were watching a show together. Um, I don't think he would ever do anything. He's never given me a reason not to trust him, but it's just her being. He just goes so out with other with women on, on, on work trips. I, this isn't like a work trip friend. It's like one of his friends. No, I know you, you just said he never gives me reasons to not trust him, except the whole reason you called me is because you're having trust, yes. trust concerns. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I, 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 you called. And so, um, I am. Not inserting myself into this conversation. No. I, I'm. I. I just want to be super clear. I think there's other things going on in this relationship. Uh huh. And I. I have no. Only thing I have to base that on is a couple of data points, and maybe I talked to him, and he is just uh-huh. like a lughead who's just like, oh, what? <laughs> um, y'all are five. You're five months in, and it feels like he's got one foot in, and he has still got another foot out of the boat. That's how I've been feeling. Okay. A little bit, yeah. Not a little bit. You've been feeling it a lot. And for yeah, some reason, lot. you minimize your feelings. Has that been happening to you your whole life that people, you say, I feel this way, and people say you're stupid? Um, Not that I'm stupid, but that I'm overly sensitive and okay. overreacting. Do you overreact? So I, um, I don't think I do. I, I'm, I usually have to ask people if I'm overreacting. Okay. Because um, I'm not really sure. Okay. So I want you Um, to get two or three women in your life that you trust deeply. Yeah. And if you feel your heart beating faster or you feel that burn inside your chest, I want you to reach out to one of them. And you know why? Mm -hmm. Because I do this. Because I'm overreact to things. I get extra mad or extra my feelings hurt. So I want you to have a couple of people in your pocket that you can ask as you are learning your own body. But let me Mm -hmm. tell you this. Somebody told you a long time ago to stop listening to B. And I want you to never do that again. I want you to listen to what your body's trying to tell you. And if you've been dating a guy for five months and he's the best guy in the whole world, but he's also still keeping up with an old girlfriend that he used to hook up with regularly or old friend that he used to hook up with regularly just a few months before y'all were together and he's taking women out and not that he's, doing business and trying to do sales, but that he makes you feel stupid. He tries to turn the whole thing back on you. I don't know why you don't trust me. What's the deal? He turns it all back on you without saying, yeah, I can see that. I think you should trust your gut. Something does not feel right. And if he wants to call me, I'd be happy to talk to him. 
Not like in a, yeah, bro, not that kind of way, but something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. And at some point soon, I think you need to have a very come to be conversation and put, is there infidelity in this relationship on the table? Is there um, gaslighting going on in this relationship? Here is what I feel. Be very, very, very clear about what I feel and more importantly, what I need. And if he can't provide that for you, cool. He may not be the guy for you. In fact, he won't be the guy for you. This isn't a, this isn't a call about um, sales calls between men and women. That's not, the, that's not the call. The call is you have a guy that you love who has said he loves you and he's 100% dismissive of how you're experiencing your relationship with him. That's the red flag. 